In this video, I'm going to show you how to take a surface like this and give it a perfect finish. If you look at the surface as I move it back and forth, you can see all kinds of divots, and we're going to take care of that. Now, if we're going to get this surface flat, we just can't take sandpaper and sand it, or the sandpaper is going to follow those little divots. So we're going to have to have flat blocks, and we're going to take this file, and we're going to lightly start to run it over this surface in a hatch. We're going to go this way, and we're going to go this way, and we're just going to continue this hatching. These hatches are going to show where these high spots and low spots are. Now just by going over with a hatch like this and like this, you can see right here is a low spot. Here's a low spot. There's a low spot. Any part that's not shiny is low. Now because the low spots are so low, I'm going in with a more aggressive file so I can take a little bit more material. These low spots up here are completely gone. You can see everything is shiny, but around the Starrett logo, you can still see it's very low. It's important to keep your file very flat on the surface, and when you're working these surfaces, make sure that you go off of the good portions and onto the parts that are low. And you can see right here, around the logo, it's not very shiny, so you can see that that is still low, and I want to make sure that I don't lose the logo, so I'm going to be very careful to keep it flat and stop right when I get to the logo. Now there's a low spot here and of course a real low spot around the logo. Now it's always tempting, you've got to keep this thing flat. A lot of people at this point, because it's so low, you'll want to take and just dip it just a little bit because, you know, it'll make it not shiny. But that's the point of this is you want to keep it going very flat. And eventually when that little low spot is gone, you will have a flat surface. So to get that flat surface that you're after, you just have to keep the course. You keep going, you hatch this way, you hatch this way, you can go back like this, you can go up like this, but make sure that you hatch because you're looking at all those scratches to find those low spots. Okay, so we're getting close. If you take a look between the T and the A, you can still see it's a little bit low and there may be a little section down here, but we'll just keep the course and we're getting there. So we'll just keep hatching it and keep watching it, going over the entire surface, all the good surfaces, working off this back surface here, just keeping everything flat. And we're going to get that flat surface. And now you can see everything is flat. There's no low spots. Now we can go to another file with another grit. So here's a really fine file. So we're gonna do the exact same hatching that we were with the other one, except with this finer file. Now the large scratches have disappeared because of this finer file. Now I'm gonna take 220 grit sandpaper, wrap it around the file and continue the process. So you can see all those bigger scratches are gone. Right now we're at 220 grit. Now if you do have a scratch that's too big for the 220, you can go down in grit, get that scratch out, and then continue to go back up. But right now we're at 220 and we're gonna continue to go up in grit. Now we're gonna go to 400 grit and then this may be as far as we need to go for powder coating. So at 400 grit, you can definitely see this is flat, a lot flatter than what we started with. So I'm gonna go with 800 just to take it to one more level up. Now that we've got our 800, I'm gonna go ahead and use the polishing wheel. And if we powder coat it, we'll probably bring it back down to 800. Now you can see that is flat and shiny. So that's how you take a wavy piece of metal and make it flat and shiny.